Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you like fragrance videos, styling videos and minimalistic design. In today's video, we are looking at Tom Ford Noir Anthracite. How I really love perfumes and I've gone through my journey to really locate my signature scent. And I will be covering that sometime soon, later perhaps in the channel. Uh, because I've been trying to include fragrances uh, that I've been using on the road, on the daily. And uh, Noir Anthracite is really interesting because I've checked out the Noir line from uh, Tom Ford about five years ago, six years ago. And I this was an impromptu buy at the, I think it was Dubai airport. And I was uh, flying through in transit. And... It really at first uh, sniff got my attention because it was unlike uh, most of the modern, you know, mainstream perfumery like uh, fast perfumery or designer perfumes as people in the fragrance world call it uh, compared to the niche ones. This firstly is borderline niche. This is not an average formulation. This is easily like a really high blend uh, of a linear fragrance but at the same time it has its own complexity and the finesse of the smell that you're getting is uh, very high end so I think this is a statement perfume so I got it in a nice 50 ml size so I really love also the bottle design and size as you know my channel is called monochromia so I love stuff that is monochromatic leaning more on the black side or like you know shades of grey white essentially ultra minimalistic super modern and this bottle is also if you like architecture it is quite brutalist it's a plain square box angular box my bad with ridges around it so it looks really put some b-roll to just admire how this looks uh, anyway getting into the fragrance itself uh, I have a couple of ideas, I don't know how I'm planning to do this, but let's go over the notes and then I tell you what I feel about it. And the notes are Shizuan, Pepper, Ginger and Bergamot for the opening. So this does open up super peppery, gingery uh, with an undertone of citruses, so lemony undertone, but it's really faint, it's more, more peppery right moving into the mid notes which is interesting because they just wrote spices galibnum uh, and jasmine so the heart of this definitely the spices fall through from the peppery opening and the ginger and other spices the shizuan spice which is the main wow factor for the opening in this one is uh still lingering and it has this spicy but it's bouquet under this uh you know jasmine sort of white floral rounded sweetness that it follows so in the first uh, i'm gonna spray it now i'm gonna spray it next after i put the base note so you get an impromptu what i feel and what i remember and tr i'll try and reconnect to the first time i wore this uh, and so then it moves into the interesting woody. If you are a wood lover, this is for you. It almost has all the woods that you can imagine. And it has ebony, cedar, birch, leather, sandalwood, chuli, and amber wood. Now, this is wood. It's all the woods except for like a few uh, left that may be rosewood. This settles down into something super linear, super fast. So essentially, I smell this once I, let's apply it now, it's a good time. I just dab it, I'm not rubbing it, so please don't kill me for that. And yeah, get the opening. And immediately now, because I just spoke of Jasmine, I'm getting that undertone. And like I said, it turns into a very linear, fragrance after some point in time it turns into this linear overall woody uh, spot but it's super dark it's super mysterious it it has the elements of rain uh, i don't know how to put this but it has that cement vibe that some perfumes we know of have like narciso rodriguez and there is this wet dryness because the dryness from the spices and the woods and then there is this wetness that still persists 
but it slowly fades away into what i would say is a really woody dry spicy fragrance it is kind of old school it also has a very strong connection to 80s perfumery it does remind me in some places of chanel and tess which i'll cover soon because it's my other fragrance time of the day this is easily perfect because i'm covering this on a saturday evening in fall at home i'm just working on some stuff and it's a vibe i'm going to probably read a book later and so it's like a by the fireplace cigar lounge hunting lodge kind of a smell it is uh, smoky which i love it is uh, woody and i love the sandalwoods like more on the dry side so not super vanillic and in the base out of all the woods from birch and sandalwood and amberwood and cedarwood actually i get on my skin a lot of dry sandalwood a lot of dry sandalwood that's not the sandalwood in santal 33 it's more like a soapy dry sandalwood if you remember old school hotels they used to have sometimes sandalwood based soap this somewhat like that with a metallic undertone so the whole fragrance then the reason it's called anthracite is because you know anthracite is like a mineral which is resinous uh, which also this fragrance is resinous uh, it's anthracite in color so the shade of gray which is almost borderline black so it's almost like the equivalent of midnight so midnight is the blue that's borderline black this is anthracite this is the gray last shade of gray after that it's black baby so this is that smell so it's definitely i would say an evening smell would work fantastic in the evening real life use case i would say this can be used in business meetings depending on you know the climate outside it's very professional it can be easily a nice evening lounge setting so if you're going to a nice lounge cigar place this could work with that and uh clothing wise i would say definitely all black would complement this like it's made for it grays uh anything bright would not really go with this so i what i'm wearing right now just spread this to make myself you know in this atmosphere that i want to create it's all black so it goes with this um and finally to close this out because i wanted to do something different i want to give you what it feels like when it first felt to me what it felt like uh do you remember rifles if you ever held a rifle which has wood and metal and you ever held it to your cheek right here uh cheek right here sorry uh <laughs> if you ever held a rifle to your cheek because you have to you know hold it here there is this woody metally smell with the carbon because there is carbon in the, in the rifle itself the bullets and it has this dry woody metal smell which this has and i think it's a great fragrance lasting wise it does last me a good 6 hours or 8 hours on the skin and if i put it on the clothes they sure last more than a day it could uh, be a good time to check this out if you have not if you're looking at this this is a fall fragrance if you can have also as a signature scent if you are a boss man if you living a life where you you know you are in charge of your days and you know your time and on that note i think uh, this gives you a fair idea of what this perfume feels like uh once again tom ford noir anthracite if you like this video please consider subscribing until next time wherever you are have a good day or a good night